morning. <laughs> so uh, I've actually started to build the electrical cabinet. And before I went too far, I thought I'd uh, stop and just let you have a look and explain what I started to do here. So what I've done, I started off with the power board. Now, in electrical terms, by using a power board like this, it's really just, you know, this, uh, I suppose, gives you a means of protection, uh, having uh, the fusible link here, okay? So if anything sort of goes wrong, that's going to pop out. You're not going to have any fires. Um, it's very essential, because this is a metal cabinet, to have the whole of this system, including your machine, because it's metal as well, although it actually operates on a different type of electricity. That's DC. Um, it's same sort of electrical as your car operates on. You're not going to get a shock from it. Um, but still, you have to protect it. And um, this device here changes the mains voltage, which is AC, alternating current, to DC. Okay, this is a Hewlett and Packard power supply to a printer, a pretty heavy duty printer. Um, totally isolated in a plastic box, firmly secured into here, okay, and this is DC, very safe. Now this gets, this is the power supply to the spindle. It is not, it doesn't come with a, an earth connection, so you have to give it one. Uh, if you can see, I'll zoom in a little closer so you can see because this is important. Okay, you'll see here you have a positive and a negative. Okay, now it is not marked positive, it has a Chinese symbol. Now I've checked on Google to see what that symbol means or which one is positive, and it turns out that uh, to me that is positive so that's the way I've connected it up in Australia the brown color okay is positive the light blue color is neutral or negative and this is the important one here earth and that needs to be connected securely with a metal screw to the body this is the mains feed from the power board okay so you have to although this is a metal unit and it's screwed to the metal base I have put an additional earth lead from here to here directly coupling this up to the earth to your household wiring system which totally protects the whole of the system. Now this is the only, I suppose, this is the important bit of the whole build. I advise you to seek advice from an electrician in your region. I've got one fan up here, little 12 volt fan, a computer fan which is sucking air in. I have another one here, which is blowing out. So I have a complete circulation right through the cabinet. Yeah, things really don't get too warm in here. Um, however, it does get up to 45 degrees C <laughs> in my workshop. In, uh, you know, it's summer, it's a metal workshop. Although I, I do have an air conditioner in here that blows at me um, and you know keeps me cool. It doesn't keep this cool. 
So, you know, I, I like to have uh, plenty of airflow through just to, uh, you know, make sure things do stay cool enough. This is a variable, the variable control that's supplied with this unit. Um, this is going to be mounted uh, about here underneath the SMC and I do plan to have uh, there's a bridge here on the unit um, where I can take that bridge out and put an, an, an on off switch which I, I am going to do as well which will be next to this in the metal that covers here okay so that's the how we're going to attach it and we're going to screw it into the base here just move that out of the way and I want to put it up here as far back as I can well actually there I don't want to interfere with these, these feet but I want to be able to be able to get at these screws here easily Okay, so I've got that drilled now. Uh, I don't want to mount it in there quite yet because I'm going to be drilling uh, this back plate here uh, to mount these. But what I've decided to do and I found is, it, you know, works for me, is I've got a piece of um, MDF. Uh, what is this? About a quarter of an inch? Just over maybe. And uh, I'm going to mount these on this first then make this in in here uh, you know screw it to the the back there okay so we've got it in there and you can see now what i was meaning by putting you know plate in here of mdf um, and connecting the drivers to it now i have all my power supplies in which are four of them uh, this one supplies the fans one sucks in, one blows out. Uh, this is the supply for the SMC controller that's going to be mounted in the what's going to be a door on here. Um, I've got this power supply connected up now for the spindle and this power supply all connected up now for to supply power to the drivers to run the stepper motors okay so at this point uh, what I normally do is I check to see everything lights up okay and is uh, you know sort of connected up okay um, but if you're not sure get a qualified electrician to just have a look at it and test it at this stage um, so really it's just turn it on Fans have started up. That's 12 volt. You might be able to hear them singing away. Okay. Green light. You can see I've got a, light, a red light on in there. A green light there. That fan's going. It's all working. So now I can continue. Okay, so that is the, I suppose, the easy part. Uh, you know, getting all the main components into your, your box. Um, you know, plenty of room around them to, to work. Um, you can pull these plugs out and put wires on them. Um, but I've left plenty of room in there to get a screwdriver in and actually do it in, in situ. Um, so what I'm, I've decided to do is this umbilical cord now is going to have connectors in the top section up here. Um, oh, these are the connectors. These are aviation plugs. Okay. Now there's I've got. Let me see. There's two pin. 
uh, a five pin now that's for the uh, I'm using that one for the spindle and also I'm going to run earth through that and have a couple of spare connections and for the stepper motors four pin so you got a male and a female uh, it'll only go in one way uh, there's like a locating lug there it is there so it'll only go in in one position and uh, now it's easier to put the wires on these when they're out of the unit so what I'm going to do now and this is the back panel all right so it slides in in the back uh, so I'm now going to put all the holes in along here and um, for, for these to be mounted but I'm going to solder the wires on these first out here on the, on the bench um, and then you know assess, put this in assemble these plugs in and then cut the wires off to the absolute length um, and probably color code it with a so I know which one is what uh, and I've actually written on the board here uh, X Z Y and Y slave so uh, you know you need to code these things so you don't get confused because you know there's going to be what uh, probably 25 to 30 wires individual wires going up and they've all got to be connected correctly otherwise some part of it or another is not going to work <laughs> okay so uh, I got some drilling to do and um, then I'll, I'll just video show you how to solder wire onto these